It's hard to believe that less than a week ago, eight-month-old Alexei Kandari was on life support and her family were told she might not make it. But thanks to the quick actions of Sergeant Ron Price, she's here today. Well, on Thursday, she was... I get, she, we thought she was choking, so I rang the doctors and they told me to take her straight in. It was about 5.30. So I come downstairs to meet my mum. Then as soon as we went out the front, she just dropped in my arms. Her, head went, her eyes went back and she started to fit. And then when my mum pulled up, she grabbed the Alexi and come ru running to run. Hayley lives in Penwood Court in Penn, where Sergeant Price is based. Her mother, Susan Petty, banged on the police base doors to get help. On first inspection, Sergeant Price suspected Alexi might be choking, so tried to clear her airways. But having established that there was nothing, it was just a case then just trying to get her, just to get her some breaths. And I did notice just by keeping the airway clear that she was able to take some breaths. Uh, that continued for about five minutes. <clears throat> I then got some help from a young lad who was on the, uh, the phone to the ambulance service and he was able to put the phone to my ear and they just gave me some, some help really and how we could go about resuscitation. Alexi was rushed to New Cross Hospital where she was put on life support. She remained in hospital for three days before making a remarkable recovery. Medical staff suspect Alexi's condition may have been caused by low salt. They told us, didn't they, that they didn't think that she'd survive. And if she did, they were 98% sure that she'd be really badly brain damaged because of the amount of time she hadn't been breathing and fitting. And it seems the pair have developed quite a bond. I have to say, in 20 years of policing, it's probably the scariest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Um, I went on to three days off straight after. So for three days I wasn't sure what was going on, you know, so I was making phone calls from, from holiday just to see how things were. But it wasn't until Sunday night that I was told that she was, uh, she was okay, had survived and was going to be released. It was amazing. The first thing I needed to do was to, I called you, didn't I, on Monday morning. I just wanted to go and see her. I just felt that, that urge to go and see her. And um, once I got to the home address it was really nice to be greeted by that massive smile. <laughs> It was one shift that Sergeant Price will never forget.